Wow, I just got picked. Yep, that's what I thought. Oh, you kidding me. Thank you. Oh, there's a guy here. He jumped out. Hey, I told you it was going to come. Ah, uh, we'll get the kill either way. Oh! Oh my god, that was disgusted. And it's a dead. Oh! oh. I was doing the jumps on him. Don't be hit marking me. Oh! I'm not landing there. Do I leather? Do I risk it? I mean, this has been a pretty bad game so far. I may as well risk it. <laughs> so, guys, game number one is about to <laughs> is about to come out. I'm making a fool of myself. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another Modern Warfare video. Today, we are playing some Call of Duty Warzone, something that I really need to post more of. Well, I need to post more videos in general, but we're trying to get back at the grind, and this is something that I really want to share, okay? Today, we are popping off with this HDR, this beautiful HDR setup. I do love the X50, and I still think it's my favorite sniper in the game, maybe the car. There's something about this HDR that is hitting hard. It's popping heads. Crack it armor, we love it. So I'll talk through the setup and show it off at the end of the video, but the gameplay you're about to see is something from Twitch Rivals. It was a tournament I got to take part in. I was in Team Syndicate, and day one was all about solos. So you and your team would dive into different solo games. You would obviously want to get the win, but the higher the placing and the more kills you could get, the more points you would get. And then Twitch Rivals would take the best five games that we got together. So it might be one of my games, three of Casey's games, one of Tom games, whatever it may be, and that would basically be our best five games. So I needed to clutch up. What you're about to see is the final game where I needed to go hard. I needed big kills. I needed a win. If I got an incredible game, it would push us into third place and we'd walk away with like three and a half thousand dollars. So pressure was on. Hopefully you all enjoy. Drop a like on the video right now and let's get into this. See, how am I like almost dead there? You're actually kidding me. Oh my god. Somebody clip that. Did you see how that man was cleared? I've, I've, I've lost it. Oh my god, look at him. Oh, don't get me stuck under here, game. I need to get out. It takes half an hour to get in there. It takes half an hour to get out. Crikey. Should I grab a kill thing? Let's just try and get a dub. Feel disgusting doing that. I actually threw up in my mouth. Double C4 him. We got a UAV, we got self res. It's looking okay. Is this worth it? Oh. 
course you've crushed over now. Don't worry, I'll drive. Oh, there we out. There's still that one other guy, right? Don't worry, I'll drive. Come on, man. See that guy sniping up there? Is that a sniper? Ain't dealing with that. Is this like a, it's like a valley down here, right? Dude, I don't like this area at all. Really want to buy something, but in between those two builders right there, that both in the safe zone. I'm just going to play the edge. I'm going to try and get a placement here. I'll drive. <sighs> don't know what that guy was doing. Gonna try and get a nice placement. <clears throat> see, I want to roam around there with the Jeep, but I feel like someone's gonna C4. That's where I get scary. Oh, God's sake. I need a shop. Someone locate me to the nearest shop. I just don't like how many buildings there are around here. UAV is out of fuel. Returning to resupply. I'm not even running in there. He's probably got C4 down, Clave or something. Maybe I should for the plates. I'll drive. Do we ditch the car? Is it? Do we? Do we keep it? What's the play here? I think it's car ditching time. Ten remaining. Keep it up. As much as I want that kill. Not risking it.
Maybe that guy would still be it here. Gonna be up top, is it? Have to push up. Get it, come on. It's what we won! 17 win. Big score. Come on. Big score. Ooh, that was horrible. Ah, oh, how do people play solos? So the setup, I've only just added a barrel. For this whole time I've been sniping in ground war and stuff like that, I haven't been using a barrel. And even the start of Warzone, I just didn't want a barrel on. I was used to the bullet drop, the travel time, whatever it may be, I would aim higher and let the bullet drop. I was used to it, but I've realized. It's pretty beneficial to have a barrel. So go with this one right here, the HDR Pro. Then I've got the TAC laser on, of course, for the faster ADS. And I've got FTAC Stalker Scout there. Percus Light of Hand and Ammunition is 7. I just feel like a lot of people are running cold-blooded now. So I don't know if the thermal is that beneficial, but it's still really good. The extra zoom there is great. Uh, you can also try that with a variable zoom as well. But it's obviously, if people are running cold-blooded a lot, it's going to make it pretty difficult to use the thermal sight. But apart from that, that is the setup right there. I've been using this... Growl? 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 I don't even know how you pronounce it, to be fair. But it's working wonders, but I think I might change it to a sub soon. So let me know in the comments if you've got any recommendations of what I could use there.